Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about intention to treat analysis in clinical research. More after the intro. Intention to treat analysis is a statistical principle used to analyze clinical trials in which the results of all participants enrolled in the study are analyzed according to their assigned treatment group, even if they do not adhere to the protocol or are lost to follow up. ITT is a useful approach as it helps to avoid bias in most cases that can occur when researchers exclude participants or adjust results based on non-compliance with the protocol. As an example, consider a study that compares two treatments for depression. At the end of the study, participants are asked to complete a survey to measure their depression levels. In an ITT analysis, all participants even those who have dropped out of the study would be included in the analysis and their results would be compared based on their assigned treatment group. In cases where some data is missing, ITT analysis requested from researchers to make assumptions about the missing data and include it in the analysis. For example, if a participant drops out of the study and does not complete the survey, an ITT analysis would assume that their depression score did not improve and include this in the analysis. But there can also be issues with intention to treat analysis. When conducting an intention to treat analysis, it is important to consider that participants may not adhere to the protocol as prescribed. This means that they could take medication other than what was specified in the trial, which can lead to biased results. Additionally, if there are large numbers of dropouts or missing data points during the trial period, this can also lead to bias in the results and make it difficult for researchers to draw meaningful conclusions from their findings. In order to prevent bias due to protocol non-adherence or missing data points, researchers should ensure that all participants are closely monitored throughout the duration of the study and any irregularities should be addressed promptly. The role of the ITT analysis in non-inferiority trials must be discussed. Despite its limitations, ITT is still a useful approach for analyzing clinical trials as it helps to avoid bias from excluding certain participants or adjusting results based on non-compliance with the protocol. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.